Okay, it's uh, much later in the day. It's like around 2.45. And I just got out of class a little early. And it's snowing. <laughs> like I knew it was gonna be cold today, but the weather app didn't say it was gonna be snowing. And I'm freaking cold. But um, we're gonna go on a little adventure today, so I'm excited. Let's see if my friends wanna be filmed. I'll check back in later. Actually surprised by how difficult it's been to film throughout the day um, but also like my phone battery is such crap hopefully I can get a new phone tomorrow or don't know when but at some point so today hopefully you guys I showed them the clips and stuff and you guys will see I went to a tea house um, ever since moving to Canada I've actually really missed boba um yes i call it boba i'm from california we call it boba over there not bubble tea but um i researched and i found a place that is not it's on the way to school so i passed it before on the bus and i'm like oh like there it is i can always try that it's like right by the bus stop too it's called formosa i believe it's formosa tea cafe or something like that their boba was so good. It was like sweet and like not too chewy and uh, definitely I found a gem. I found a good place and it's funny because it's right across the street from the mall that I've gone to before and there's a place in the mall that has like they sell boba tea. I remember I asked them for a milk tea at that place and this guy like put like some type of powder, ice, and then water into a blender and then like blended it and then gave it to me when that was, it was gross and I didn't like it. Um, <laughs> and I was like, man, is this the only place I'm going to be able to find boba? Um, and then I found Formosa. Oh, I have a, I have a thing. Wait. Uh. And when I was there today, I got a lavender milk tea, and it was so good. It was super good. Not too sweet, but then, like, the boba balls, like, were pretty sweet. So, like, that's, like, the sweetness in the drink. It, well, it was really good. And then after that, which hopefully I got some footage from, but, I mean, I wasn't... It wasn't like I was just by myself or I was with friends. I was with my boyfriend's family. So it was a little weird to like bust out my camera there. Um, but I did go to dinner with them. Uh, yeah, I'm always up for food. So uh, my boyfriend was working tonight. So he didn't go with us. But I went with his mom and his grandparents and his brother. And we went and we had delicious ribs. It was so good. I, it's from a place called Montana's. And I just, I like that place a lot. So when they were like, we're going here for dinner, I was like, See you there. It was really good. And then it was nice because then I didn't have to take the bus back home and then walk in the dark back home. So that was kind of nice. But yeah, so that's that's my update. I'm home now. It is... I know it's not 8 yet. At least it can't be. I don't know. I have no idea. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm tired. <laughs> It was my first day back at school. It was cold. I did not expect it to snow. And then it started snowing. And then uh, it was just so cold. I needed to rethink my wardrobe for today because I was too cold. I had on like this t-shirt and I did have a jacket. I had two jackets over it. I had like my black hoodie and then just like a green uh, like cargo jacket. And, and provides no warmth whatsoever. Um, 
and I just wore that with my jeans and my jeans have rips in them they're like distressed and then for shoes I just wore my Converse but as you saw in earlier clips when I was walking to class there was snow everywhere so I was stepping in ice and getting water in my shoes it was just overall a really <sighs> it was a thing I'm gonna put on some sweatpants and probably browse social media until my boyfriend gets home and then we'll see what shenanigans I get into. I probably won't do much though because I'm tired and I have to go back to campus tomorrow so we'll see what's up. This is where we're gonna start. Okay, ready? Yeah. Go. <laughs> it's not as poppy as the other one I was using. <laughs> what do you like? Would you like crunch it? Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> you popped them all. <laughs> no, we didn't. There. I popped them all. I'm sure you can pick them up and... It's not as satisfying as when I step on it. Okay. Right. <laughs> 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 oh, that was a good one. <laughs> Okay. 
You make me like really anxious to film or say anything. <laughs> Do you think people in other cars know what I'm doing right now? No. Anyways, it's the first clip of Thursday because we haven't done anything. Uh, I guess I really just wanted to film this because we're going to my favorite place. I think I can say it's it's my favorite. That it's my favorite place to eat. Oh, you run. Oh, you run. Um, so yeah, we're going now because they close at five. Never mind that we ate like an hour ago, two hours. two hours ago. It's fine. I can eat again. It's not a problem. So I'll show you when we're there. Okay, bye. I don't mean to. That's okay. I'm just a very intimidating oh, person. Oh, I clicked her toward and read a red light. Oh, yeah. Hi. Um, hello. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, no, uh, Chicken and a pina colada smoothie. Oh, actually, we don't do the pina coladas anymore. Oh, you don't? No. Okay. Is that okay? Yep. Can I also do a Saskatoon barbecue chicken? And then can I do the matcha lavender latte? Yeah. Can I get ice? Yeah. Uh, the cinnamon bannock foods. Can I get some? Can you like pour it? Yep. What you got in the bag, huh? It's just like dough. It's so my life. Oh yes. This look it smells so good. Perfect. I'm not taking a picture, I'm doing a video. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> so we both got the same thing, so no no my <laughs> they've already seen us eat that. <laughs> Get this off my board. <laughs> yeah, we both got the same thing, so it doesn't it doesn't matter if I show you both. But yeah, it's super freaking delicious. And uh, there's nothing else to say. Ooh, it's nice and fluffy. To drink, he got what was this called again? A Saskatoon smoothie. Saskatoon smoothie. I don't remember what's in it, but it's a pretty good smoothie. However. The real star of the show is this. This is a matcha lavender latte. You can get it hot or iced. I prefer it iced. It's magical. Oh, see, yeah, see, look, it's mixing once I stir it. There was like purple bits at the bottom, but uh, once you mix it, which is, I'm assuming is the lavender, once you mix it, it's all incorporated in here. I'm excited. We're gonna eat, even though we just ate and we're fat asses. Oh, I'm so excited. This thing is so good. Okay, bye. Hello. So it's the first clip of Friday. Woo, it's Friday. And it's late in the day. It's like 3.40, 3.45. And I've been being a lazy butt. But um, I can't tell maybe from my shirt or like whatever, but I'm in my workout clothes. So we're doing it. <laughs> um, I've used too many excuses now and I feel like I'm actually in the mood to work out and whenever you ever feel in the mood to, it's best just to do it. Like <laughs> I found in the past that I'll be in the mood to, but it'll be like 
you know, I just finished eating a really huge meal and I'm like, oh, I'll work out tomorrow instead. And then the mood has gone and I don't feel like working out. So I find that when the mood hits me, I have to, I have to do it then or I'm going to talk myself out of it or not do it. The mood has struck and I kind of want to maintain or, or learn to take this feeling that I have and turn it into something that's more of a habit. I made a little workout sheet and yeah. I'm not filming myself working out. Okay, bye. I just filmed an entire outro and then realized the orientation of the camera was wrong. So, love that for me. Um, this is just kind of to close out this week's vlog um, and just say thank you for watching and that I hope you enjoyed. Um, if there's any like specific content or things you want me to talk about in the next video, please leave them in the comments below. And I'll try to incorporate that more. I know in this vlog, I didn't really like sit in front of the camera too much and talk about my feelings or experiences or any struggles I may be having. Um, because to be honest, I had a pretty decent week. I think um, my mindset is slowly changing. And so I'm, I don't want to get cheesy and say that I'm trying to look for the joy in things around me. But I do think that I've been caught in a rut for way too long. And so... I think doing this and filming things and trying to figure out like would this be interesting for a vlog is kind of forcing me to find the joy in the little things around me and that this experience while I'm not like other vloggers on YouTube who are like traveling to really exotic places it doesn't mean that my life and my experience doesn't have joy or, or excitement in it. Thank you guys so much for watching and again any suggestions or what have you down in the comments and I'll be sure to check those out and yeah I'll catch you back here next Saturday with another video because I've realized Saturdays are upload days Woo I think that's pretty much it please join me on my journey or don't doesn't really mean much to me okay bye